And uh, today we're going to um, talk about um, some of the um, things that come out of the compound angle formulas, uh, which we'll start with cosine um, uh, alpha minus beta. And our first thing is to sub in negative beta. And when we do that, that changes to cosine alpha plus beta. Now, cosine alpha times cosine negative beta results in um, cos alpha cos beta. And that's because cos negative beta is cos beta. And because sine is a odd function, sine negative beta is negative sine beta. So the only thing that changes when you do cosine alpha plus beta is that the plus sign in between the two terms turns into a minus sign. And it's essentially the same formula. Now, uh, what if we now just, just to remind ourselves of that initial formula, uh, just put that up there. And uh, now we're going to uh, attempt to derive the sine functions. We do this by using the transformation cos alpha over 2 minus theta equals sine theta. So if we treat alpha minus beta as if it were just a single angle, we can say pi over 2 minus, in brackets, alpha minus beta. And, um, and if we rearrange the brackets, uh, we can get a favorable formula for sine alpha minus beta. And in this case, uh, this can be built on cosine alpha plus beta. Unfortunately, the one we have on display is cosine alpha minus beta, but I'll just refer to the um, formula. Remember, all that changes is the uh, minus sign. Here are the other co-function identities. Now, you might want to um, uh, stop the video here because actually uh, we use more than uh, more than two of these. We do we use the transformations between sine and cosine, and the transformations between cosine and sine. Um, so if we do cosine alpha over 2 uh, minus alpha plus beta, that turns into sine alpha minus beta. And notice that cos alpha over, or sorry, cos pi over 2 minus alpha becomes sine alpha. So we get sine alpha cos beta. And negative sine uh, pi over 2 minus alpha becomes cos alpha, negative cos alpha, sine beta. So here is our second um, our second uh, difference formula, or a third difference formula, really, the one being uh, sine alpha minus beta. Now, if we sub in negative beta in place of beta, we get sine alpha plus beta. And uh, that means that we can just stick with sine alpha, but then we get cos negative beta. Now remember cos is an even function, so that's going to be stay as cos beta. Whereas cos alpha sine beta, sine negative beta, that becomes negative sine beta, meaning that the plus sign in front of that term changes into a, sorry, a minus sign in front of that term changes into a plus. And so we have the fourth and final one. Uh, but we're not quite done. Uh, we can actually use these formulas, uh, cos alpha plus beta and sine alpha plus beta, to make what are called double angle formulas. So let's say that we uh, wanted to um, make alpha into beta. So that makes cos beta plus beta, or cos 2 times beta. And notice that makes cos alpha, or sorry, cos beta cos beta, which is cos squared beta, and sine alpha beta sine beta which is sine squared beta. Now if we change that into A uh, we actually have these variations using the Pythagorean th uh, identities. Um, we can actually make three ways of expressing the double angle formula for cos. Now what about the double angle formula for sine? Uh, sine beta cos beta plus sine beta cos beta um, makes two of the same terms, so it's really two sine beta cos beta, and really there's no other way. Um, there, for this one, there is no other variation uh, for the double angle formula for sine beta. So sine two beta is two sine beta cos beta. Uh, 